Penn State vs. Indiana score with Hoosiers and Vert Jetsy for first top 10 win since 1987. Indiana quarterback Michael Penix Jr. had just enough of them for the win with an extraordinary effort. It gives the Hoosiers a dramatic 36-35 win by trying hard on the way to the column in extra time with 8 Penn State. Penix and his stormy arm scored two points that set the score of isolation. It is very meaningful and very important. It marked Indiana's first win over a top 10 team, ranked in the AP Top 25 since 1987, and in a streak of 42 games without losing. It's admirable and praiseworthy. People noticed and debated the value of this successful two-point conversion. Imagine again when Penix, staggering to the left, rushed to the front poles. Penix decided it all with one touch, even though a closer look showed that the ball was too close to the edge. But the fun is the call on the field was upheld, likely due to inconclusive video evidence. Well then, all that remains is nothing that can stop the Hoosiers from celebrating after taking a very short so many previous passes in similar games. It is interesting, isn't it like someone said football is a game of inches. Overall it's clear Indiana took the lead for most of the afternoon with Penn State from time to time completing laps with points. More dramatic was when Jay Han Dotson put in a touch 60-yard pass to put Nittany Lions 21-20, after always leading 20-14 with 2.30 left. Also note that as a result of Jordan Stout's 57-yard effort reduced by about one yard. What's more, the Hoosiers couldn't explain the game that began after that, allowing Penn State to make a scoring effort at 57 yards, with 8 seconds remaining. Viewers suddenly realized it was very interesting that coach James Franklin chose not to try again to play a few more yards before trying to kick. As a result, Jordan Stout's 57-yard effort has been reduced by about one yard. Penix and Indiana who came out ahead on the final play, though Penn State struck first in overtime. Please accept the truth is Penn State had its opportunities to put the game away late after taking the lead and did not. And now, with Ohio State on the schedule for Halloween night, the Nittany Lions have to regroup quickly. Can't do anything else. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share.